What's up YouTube? I wanted to make a um, video on how to test out a Honda um, ignition coil. And it's pretty easy, it's pretty interesting. I was looking at these ignition coils and uh, they span like almost all the whole year from 90 to or like 1992 to 2000. Not just the um, Civics but I noticed that they say they work on a, a cords also. Um, so I think they just were smart about it and used the same ignition coil through tons of models and years. Anyhow, I had a situation where uh, uh, somebody called up and said, Hey, our cars won't start. And uh, it's, it was doing intermittent failures. Like they try to idle at a stop sign and it cut out on them sometimes. <clears throat> and uh, it sounded to me like an, an ignition coil. And I actually got to the site and uh, went to go test it out. And uh, so I wanted to see if it would start, and it wouldn't start, but it wouldn't start because the battery is dead. So that kind of threw a wrench into the whole thing. Um, I don't like doing what I call them house calls because uh, you always got your all my tools are in my house, and you kind of guess and you always forget something. Anyways, uh, so basically I took the battery out of my car, stuck it in their car, and, um, and then I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to work, so... I said, what the heck, I, I hate throwing parts at a car, so, but I threw this part at the car because just the symptoms sound just like that, that's what it was, and I lucked out, and it fired right up, and so then I took their battery and got charged up and got the car all running and everything, and uh, it seemed like they didn't have any issues with it, so I was fairly certain that I'd gotten the problem just by guessing at it, and I hate doing it that way. So when I got home, um, I, had, I had their old part, and I wanted to test it out. And so what I want to show you here is how to test it out. So you get your ohm meter, and uh, if you don't familiar with an ohm meter, see this coming up. You want to make sure your leads are on the correct thing. There's always usually a common, like usually you have to put it on like voltage. In this case, amps and ohms is over here. So you just want to make sure you got these plugged into the right little deals. And it says it's going to be between 0.6 to point. 77 or some books will say 0.8 so just say 0.6 to 0.8 and let me zoom in on this igniter ignition coil for you so you can see what I'm gonna look at here on the ignition coil sorry about that on the ignition coil you got they call it terminal A, terminal B and this is your secondary and um, let's see which one's A I'm not sure which one A I think the um this one's A and this one's B, and this is your secondary. Uh, so anyway, so the first test that you want to do is uh, check between terminals A and B for 0.6 to 0.8. So this is reading 1 because that's how they signify infinite ohms because I'm not touching anything. But anyways, I put it on here, and it's reading 1. 1.4 and it should only be not it shouldn't be that high it should be just the the highest it should be is 0 0.8 so right there that tells me that whatever's hooked on there that coil there is bad and uh, another test you can do is between the secondary and terminal A and that's supposed to be between 12 and 20 kilo ohms so this is terminal A, this bottom one. Oh, let me zoom out. You probably didn't get to see any of that. Sorry about that. So, you're testing between these terminals here. And I'm getting uh, above 0.8. And then next you want to be terminal A in the secondary. Oops, that's way too low. So you want to put it up like on 20K. And it's getting 16 kilo ohms. And according to the book, it can be between 12 and 20. So the secondary coil is fine, but the terminals between A and B are, are out of specs. So my guess, I just lucked out, and that's the right. This is definitely a bad coil. So also another little tip I want to tell you. I, I wish I had a distributor to show you. Is... Uh, like because the battery, usually you have to take the distributor rotor off to pull the coil out. It's just held in by two screws right there. 
and in my case because the battery is dead I couldn't turn over the engine so all I did is took the whole distributor off and that was pretty easy you just take three bolts and uh, remove the distributor and then you can just turn the uh, rotary wrench and the reason why you got to turn it over is because there's a little uh, set screw you got to take out to turn off the rotary I'll get a distributor and show you this you could probably not make any sense but anyway so that's a tip you can do if you don't have a way to turn over the engine easily you can just take the whole distributor off kind of pay attention maybe put an alignment mark on it and then once you get the distributor off you can turn the um, set screw to the slot where you can undo it and uh, putting the distributor back on and if you forgot to mark it you just center it up and you're 99 well maybe 90 percent of the time you're right on on the Honda distributors you usually have to just be centered um, but you should mark it before you take it off anyways uh, hope this video helps you guys out on how to test an ignition coil sorry if it was a little bit long and winded there if you like this video uh, hit like and if you want to see more like this hit subscribe and uh, you'll get notified when they come out thank you